Hey, Cameron, how's it going? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Um, so the first question that I had for you, it's what was your first role on TV and film? So and my, my you... first role ever, um, it, was a, it was a small commercial um, for a dentist association of Quebec. Uh, and that I did when I like just, just started acting. Uh, it was short, but I had a lot of fun. I mean, I, I like being on set. But if you're talking about like my first like TV film role, uh, definitely Helix. Uh, I did that when I was 12. And that was like my first um, big set experience. Uh, and I, I loved it. I, uh, I was quite nervous because I had to get a lot of um, special effects makeup done on my face. Uh, and I had to spend several hours in the chair before I went uh, on to set. And I did that every day for like 18 days straight. So that was rough, but I learned to love it. And the artists and just like the, the, the amount of work that went into creating the sets and stuff. Uh, Helix was my my first uh set experience as i like to like to say so uh, that was my first one when you took on the role luther um did you have any conversations with tom hopper the directors writers showrunners or whoever on how you're going to match 30 year old luther to uh i guess you were were you're playing 16 year old uh yeah uh, yeah so it's like how did you did you guys talk did you figure things out yeah, so so I had a separate conversation with Tom, um, but the directors were always on set um, giving us coaching when it came to our characters uh, with all the kids um, because we did have to show that sort of evolution uh, from being young kids uh, new into the world of, you know, superheroing and, and just loving the idea of, you know, getting all this attention. And I think that was a big part of Luther's character, which I discussed with Tom, was that he's someone who's like the... At when he's a kid at least he's like the perfect superhero or he's trying to be at least uh he's trying to impress his dad and you know trying to be that the the perfect son slash perfect superhero so he's very almost cocky as a kid too confident um but he cares about his siblings and uh he just has problems showing that he's not as good uh, when it comes to showing emotion as like the other characters are which is funny because diego is actually better at showing emotion than luther is um but um so when we wanted to do that transition from young luther to older luther uh it's sort of like uh tom's tom's older version of luther is trying to sort of make up for his absence uh in terms of like for uh, showing emotion to his to his uh his family when he when they were kids because he was sort of the 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 leader in terms of like the superheroes and he was he was lacking in that department so uh that was definitely what we discussed uh because he is a leader and he took he took that way too seriously um poor siblings but uh when he's older he's definitely becomes a softy and he tries to make it up so uh that yeah. was our big conversation yeah oh that's cool very cool yeah. um and uh what are you working on now is there something you want to tell us about to show movies commercials <laughs> yeah so um I've done a couple commercials here and some extra voice work um, since COVID hit, but it's been pretty quiet. It's starting up again, which is nice, and I'm auditioning, and uh, I'm glad to be auditioning again. Um, but right now, my focus is school. I am going to New York City for two years. Uh, <laughs> for, yeah, for, for school. Uh, I'm very, very excited. Uh, it's something that I didn't know I was going to be doing, but I'm so glad that I made that decision because I just, I love New York City and, and uh, I'm going to be studying what I love, TV, film, acting. So very excited. Fantastic. Can I ask what school? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's AMDA, the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in New York City, like right downtown New York City. Oh. I went there in 2018 for like a three week uh, summer conservatory camp thing for musical theater. And I, I, I loved it. I mean, it was so much fun just to be downtown in New York City with people who had the same interests as me for three weeks, just nonstop performing was the best. So it, yeah, I just, I'm so happy that now I'm going there for, uh, for, for school now. So, okay. That's great. Yeah. And, and, uh, the school it's, uh, it's, uh, it's the triple threat. So it's, uh, acting, it dancing and singing and, yeah. and you do all three are correct. I don't think a lot of people have t fully, uh, been able to appreciate that, you know, in yeah. the products that we've seen. So I have to, I have to thank my, uh, my mom for that, uh, with the dance school and all that. I mean, I was sort of, I grew up in the dance world or the performing world. Uh, so that definitely opened me up to all the, f the sorts of performing. Uh, so yeah, this school is great because it, it, you know, it has all three of them and, uh, the, the acting program is actually one of the, is the newest one. So I think I'm the first year so that they're doing oh, wow. this program. Yeah, so I'm I'm very excited for that.
Oh, that's very cool. All right. Are you ready for some rapid fire questions? Hit me. All right. Uh, your favorite or current book that you're reading? Oh, I just finished <laughs> All Star oh. Superman last night. I bought it and I was like, I, so I went to the comic book store and I was looking for All Star Superman because I heard that it was amazing and I loved it. One of my favorite comics now. Uh, I, oh, Cameron, you're after my heart. That is, that is <laughs> definitely on my shelf over here somewhere. Is it? There you go. Uh, first live concert, music concert. Hmm. I went, oh, uh, Maroon 5. When I was about maybe 10 years old, I was a huge fan of Maroon 5. And uh, I, I really wanted to go. And so when I finally had the opportunity to go, I was just, I was freaking out. I was, I was so happy. One thing that I wasn't expecting though, and being a young kid, it was really loud. And <laughs> that was one thing that stuck <laughs> with me is that concerts are way too loud. But I enjoyed the, the experience. They were great. So that was my first one. Are you a fan of Friends? I am. I am. Okay. I'm so, very Rachel, good. Ross, Joey, Chandler, Monica, or Phoebe? Joey. 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 Joey was, yep. Joey and Chandler. I don't know. The dynamic the dynamic between those two unparalleled. I mean, I liked Ross too, but um Chandler and Joey were my two favorites uh, by far. By far. And uh, I have to watch the uh there's the new the reunion. Yeah. I have it's to really watch good. that. I heard it was great. Dude, watch it. It's worth uh, the price of admission for Crave HBO. It's uh, it's kind of fun, you know, for, for one month at least. Too. Yeah. Uh, if you could win an Olympic gold medal for any sport, real or fake, what would it be? Archery. I archery. Love archery. <laughs> yeah, archery. I, I have... I have a, uh, so I have a trailer in the United States and, uh, I bought this bow and arrow with like this, this styrofoam block, uh, sort of target. And, uh, every summer when we go down, we would just, you know, shoot right at the target. And that I spent like hours doing that in one shot. So definitely archery. And I'm a huge fan of green arrow. So, I mean, come on. So definitely, That's definitely awesome. archery. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, favorite food, all your friends hate or find weird. I'm going to flip that. Uh, I oh. don't drink soft drinks, which a lot of people do. I can't drink them. I have the inability to drink soft drinks. Um, so the inability. <laughs> yes. So I, I can't, I've tried so many times. I just end up drinking milk. I mean, I, that's just what I, that's my go-to drink. And, uh, another thing that I can't take is I can't take pills. Like I, I can't like Tylenol. I can't do it. I can't swallow pills. That's another thing I, that uh, people don't I, know about me. It's just like, I cannot do it. I had to open it and put it in applesauce so that I could, <laughs> I could then eat it because I just couldn't do it. Yeah. Well, brother, I feel you. I, I hate <laughs> pills. I, I'm i like, I go to the pharmacy. Does this come in a chewable format? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I gag. Uh, it just gets worse with the big ones. Um, yeah. Actor or director you most want to work with? Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is my... Uh, idol when it comes to acting for the simple fact that he's a triple threat and he's wolverine i mean i i've always looked up to hugh jackman because he was um like he's you know he's a tap dancer and he's a singer and he's all this stuff but he's also on the side of superhero and movies and stuff so it, i've always wanted to work with hugh jackman so one day if i can i know i will lose it because he is one of, uh, he's my favorite actor by far very cool mm -hmm. zombie apocalypse choose your weapon Master Sword from Legend of Zelda. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Master Master Sword. I have one actually. I picked it up from Comic Con. Uh, I went out after the panel and I was looking around. I was like, okay, I gotta get a Master Sword. So I picked it up and uh, it's got, you know, it's got the strap and everything. So I'm already set for a zombie apocalypse, but that would be my go to or a lightsaber. So one of those. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, it work. Oh my God. Uh, it's uh probably like some tank or something over uh, yeah, a little bit <laughs> yeah i just like i have kids to protect come on everybody inside the tank <laughs> it's like uh good idea. yeah if not something like uh, uh like a, a a bladed baseball bat or something like that you know cool. something that that uh, swings easily and mm -hmm. can do most damage mm -hmm. um all right so now i'm gonna get into a very touchy subject marvel oh or DC you're killing me you're killing me with these questions um <laughs> ah okay I I can't I have so my two favorite superheroes of all time Spider-Man and Batman and close <laughs> ah, but Superman and Flash are my runner-ups I don't know uh 
I think movie wise, Marvel, uh, comic book wise, and animated film wise, DC. Um, I think DC dominates when it comes to animated films. I don't know if you, you've probably seen the like um, uh, Batman Under the Red Hood, Batman Bad Blood, all those. Like, oh my God, they're so good. And then you have the MCU, which is fantastic. So it's like ah, it pains me. I mean, I'm representing the Superman right now with the book and the, but <laughs> Marvel, I would say, was what I started on. So I think Marvel, I would have to go with that in general. But you know, I'll accept both as well, because yeah. that was a good answer. The 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 animated films from DC, especially the last. Uh, I mean, they've always been great, but the last string, that ones that are all tied together, 14, 13, 14 films. Uh, I, I just found it. They were exceptional, and they, the way they ended it, it's like its own little universe, and you know that incorporates yep. things that we're familiar with, but. It was, uh, it was bonkers amazing. Yeah, and they're redoing right. it now too with two new. I think there's there is the Flash World War Two and the Man of Tomorrow Superman one. Yeah, those. I great. think they're re yeah they're rebooting. I haven't watched those yet though, but uh, they're good. I they're will. good. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> so outside of the Umbrella Academy, uh, your favorite superhero, comic book my, superhero. My favorite comic book superhero. Spider-Man, Spider-Man and Batman, uh, <laughs> Spider-Man, even like, so my dad grew up on comic books as well. And he, we still have huge Tupperware boxes full of comic books and like 50% of those are Spider-Man comic books. So when I was little, I would just come down the basement and grab a, you know, a bunch of Spider-Man comic books and then run back up to my bed and just read them all. Uh, so I grew up on Spider-Man and, uh, the Sam Raimi movies and all that stuff. So Spider-Man definitely had the biggest impact on me as a person and a comic book lover. So, uh, I, I would like 100% just go with Spider-Man and my dream one day is to play Spider-Man in any form of media. I would love to play Spider-Man. <laughs> what movie do you never get tired of seeing over and over and over again? <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. I do not get tired of watching that. I've watched that like a thousand times the i the, i know the script it's it's sad i watched that movie way too many times i'm not a huge fan of the first two but revenge of the sith for some reason is just like my go-to star wars film when i just want to watch a star wars movie i can't deny that the originals are the best by far but when it comes to like pure enjoyment that i can re-watch and re-watch and not get tired of uh, it's got to go to star wars revenge of the sith yeah Anakin. You're like a brother to me. <laughs> I loved you. Uh, I yeah. loved you. Oh. Yeah. Have you seen that uh, last week? We were, Ryan and I we were watching um, a clip from um, uh, YouTube. Some some guy put, did a montage of uh, OG Obi Wan reflecting back to the Clone Wars. Yes. Right. You know which one I'm talking about? Yes. Was it? Was it called uh, Obi Wan as PTSD or something like that? Something like that. Yeah. 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 yeah that God. that one is sad. It hits you right in the feels. Which I'm very excited for the Obi Wan show too. That's coming out soon. Oh God, that, yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah. Well, thanks, Cameron, and you take care of yourself and uh, enjoy your summer. And if we don't talk as after you move to New York, uh, you know, have <laughs> a you. have a great move. Have a great move. You know. Thank you. Have a great one. Thank you for having me.